The Game Boy is probably the most revolutionary handheld console of all time, and there are so many just random and cool, unique accessories for the Game Boy. Some of them are pretty cool, and some of them are pretty crazy, so let's take a look at some of the coolest ones out there. I'm gonna start it off with probably the craziest and coolest one. This is the SciTech Booster Boy. So it's literally like the ultimate armor thing for the Game Boy. You put your Game Boy inside of it, and it has so many different features. There's a joystick, rocker buttons, there's a light, a magnifying glass to make the screen bigger, speakers, there's a place to store games and headphones. Because with the Game Boy, a lot of these accessories came separately, like you had to buy them separately, and it didn't have a backlit screen, so you'd have to use like the worm light to shine on the screen so you'd actually see the screen. But this has like everything built into one. But this thing makes your Game Boy massive. Like the original Game Boy is already pretty big compared to like the Game Boy Advance and like the DS and stuff. So this thing was massive back in the day, but it's kind of cool. And I feel like this just screams 90s. And it's like, whoever came up with this is just insane. And I, I want to know how many they actually sold. And I'm pretty sure this was sold at Radio Shack. I don't know if it was only sold at Radio Shack, but man, rest in peace to Radio Shack. They shut down a couple years ago. I really miss Radio Shack. Next up, we got the Konami Hyper Boy. What's cool about all these Game Boy accessories is they all have like the word boy in it. Like the names are pretty cool. So this turns your Game Boy into kind of like an arcade system, like a little arcade that you'd play, you know, at the arcade, whatever. You get the little the little joystick and little two buttons on the side. This would be crazy for like fighting games, I'm sure, like uh, like Mortal Kombat and stuff. I think this is a, just such a cool console, like this is something I would want on display on my desk. I think this one is super unique, I never actually have seen this one before making this video, and it's made by Konami, so they're a good reliable brand. This kind of looks like an old old Mac computer to me, like the original Apple Mac computer. This one is, is super, super cool. Next up we got the Game Boy Camera and Printer. Yeah, the Game Boy had a printer and a camera as an accessory. I'm pretty sure this one was first party. Like, I'm pretty sure Nintendo actually produced this product. But basically, you plug it into the, the Game Boy, and it's a little camera. The quality is not good at all, but it gives, like, some super aesthetically pleasing photos. It reminds me of, like, the pictures you would get at Chuck E. Cheese from, like... There's like a, a ride or something that you'd sit in, like a car, I believe, at Chuck E. Cheese that would take a picture of you. This is what that reminds me of, and it prints on, like, a little piece of paper... But it's super cool. Like, imagine the technology back then. Like, that was so... Must have been super cool as a kid. Being like, oh my gosh, my Game Boy could take a picture. I would take pictures on this in today's world and post it online or, like, put it on my fridge. Because this is super, super cool. Next up, we got the Game Genie, which is kind of like the action replay or like a Game Shark. I'm pretty sure it's called the Game Shark. If you don't know what that is, it's basically just like a little hacking device. So this thing is a is an accessory that goes around the Game Boy. You put your Game Boy in it. It's pretty big as well. Like this is a pretty big device. And it basically gives you a bunch of cheat codes for a lot of the popular games back in the day. So you could input codes for the game cartridge that you want which modifies the game data so you could access parts of the game that the developers did not really want you to go to. You could change the game items and so much more. It's a super fun device, but like, you know, cheating at the same time with video games is like, it kind of ruins the fun to an extent. It's like, how much fun can you really have if you cheated your way through this game rather than just organically playing through it? This was a huge topic back in like the mid 2000s with the action replay for the DS, like people are hacking Pokemon games and stuff. I mean, it's pretty cool to do, I think, if you've already beat the game and you want to, like, explore new places or do things you can't do regularly playing the game. But I thought this was a pretty cool product, and I thought it was worth mentioning. Number five, I'm pretty sure this is number five, this is a battery pack. So the Game Boy, the original Game Boy, didn't have, like, a rechargeable battery. You actually had to use batteries, like, physical batteries, and when they run out, and when they ran out, you just had to swap them out. And I don't know if you could charge batteries back in the day, you probably could. But this is a battery, like an external battery pack that you could actually use to power your Game Boy. So this would be great for like road trips and stuff, or if you're with a big group of people and you don't have extra batteries. Um, so yeah, pretty much as simple as that. Just a battery pack and you could get some more hours of gameplay. And what's clutch about this is you could actually just recharge this battery pack. 
I feel like if I was a kid in the 90s that grew up, I probably would have had one of these and probably relied on it to play with my Game Boy because batteries are expensive, dude. I don't know how much batteries costed back in the 90s, but I know now they are stupidly expensive and I hate buying batteries. This next item screams like 90s and early 2000s. This is a, it's called the hip clip. So it's basically a little clip that you put your Game Boy into and you could attach it to your pants or your belt. Kind of like how, you know, you know, dads like clip in their phone to their, their belt or their pants, whatever the side or your grandpa does it. Like imagine walking downtown with the Game Boy on your hip. You, you could whip your Game Boy out at any given moment. This would have been clutch for like games that required you to like move around like Pokemon Go. Like imagine if Pokemon Go existed in the 90s. Like this would have been like the top selling accessory because you have to get your steps in. You could just put that boy right on your hip. I, I think this is the coolest accessory. This next one is like kind of a Game Boy accessory. This is a ginormous Game Boy shaped case, like carrying case for your Game Boy and your games, your chargers, whatever, your batteries. This thing is so cool. Like this is something that's kind of common, I feel like in people's collections actually, but it's literally a ginormous Game Boy, but like as a briefcase where you can store your stuff so you can go on trips to, you know, on an airplane, on a road trip. Like, this as a kid, like, having this as a kid must have been so cool feeling. Like, you feel like an official, like, you would be like an agent carrying this thing around. I just think that this is so cool, and I really want one of these. They're kind of pricey. They're not, like, too expensive, but they're not, like, cheap either. But I want one of these for display, because this thing is sick. Have you ever wanted to go fishing with your Game Boy? Well, apparently this was actually a thing. So this is called the Pocket Sonar, and it's a little sonar device that you plug into your Game Boy, which makes your Game Boy read a sonar of the water that is nuts to me i can't believe that this existed i never even heard of this until doing some research for this video this sounds crazy and i would love to get a game boy i don't have an original game boy i just have a game boy advance um i would love to get a game boy and this pocket sonar i have no idea how much this pocket sonar costs but it, i'm sure it's probably a little pricey because it's probably obscure and it looks like it's all in japanese but Maybe they have made a North American model, but I want to do this and make a video out of this because I think this would be like such a cool video idea for the community. I just think this is the craziest, one of the craziest Game Boy accessories out there. So this next one must have been useful for like grandmas back in the 90s because this is a sewing machine that you plug into your Game Boy for like pattern input. So I, what I'm thinking is like the Game Boy kind of gives you instructions of how to actually do the sewing. And I don't know if this is for the Game Boy or the Game Boy Color. I think this might actually be for the Game Boy Color. But this is kind of crazy. How, like, stuff in the 90s, like, who who thought about this stuff? And who actually made it work with the Game Boy? Because the Game Boy is a pretty ancient piece of technology, if you really think about it. Like, the hard work can only go so far. But people, I feel like, really optimized that and took full advantage of what the Game Boy was. And there, there are so many crazy accessories for the Game Boy. Like, I could make two or three more videos about this. I know that may not sound like a lot, but I guess it depends how much I talk about. I mean that more in the sense of highlighting the actually cool things. Like there are, there are probably thousands of accessories for the Game Boy, but a lot of them are kind of stupid. This is kind of crazy. I mean, this is kind of stupid. Like who would buy this? But I just think this is a, a cool accessory. So this one is the last one. I'm going to end on this one. This is the multi plus on system. So this seems like an early attempt at like the toys to life gimmick using plastic figures and the Game Boy Advance. So this one seems like you plug it into your GBA and it has the function to show up on the Game Boy. And apparently this technology was actually developed with a sewing machine, but sometimes, but somebody kind of like reversed engineered it to work with the game with a toys to life type of play style, I guess. I feel like there's not too much information about this, but it seems like a really cool failed product on the Game Boy Advance. I know this one is not original Game Boy. My intent was to do all original Game Boy, but I just thought this was super cool. So if you have any more information about this, please leave a comment. But I guess these little creatures were called Plusters, and they could merge to be in go into like the Game Boy Advance in a game. I don't know. It's kind of confusing. I can't really. I don't really have much information about this, but. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. Leave a comment down below about what your favorite accessory from this video was. And if you have any accessories that you have that I didn't mention, please make sure to leave a comment about that too because it's super interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.